All right, my dudes, welcome back to another Movie Monday. So happy Easter long weekend or whatever you wanna call it. I hope you all had an amazing one. So today I wanna to start my show off by saying a huge massive thanks, look at this, look at this, to Phil Moore, who is on my Facebook and on our YouTube channel often and always partaking. He sent me this awesome video dead shirt, which is like, too kind, my dude. I really appreciate it. And you guys all know I love sporting my silly, silly t-shirts and shenanigans. So this is like awesome. I'm super stoked to be sporting this. And um, this week, I'm going to be hitting you guys with a back-to-back -back again, okay? So two different movies that I thought needed to shout out. Um, we're going to start with the first one. So the first one is Pasture. Pasture is from 2020. It's on Amazon Prime. I don't know if it's on anything else right now. It, okay, so number one, it dragged me in because I read the synopsis really quick and it's like, ooh, a Lynchian film. And I'm like, oh yeah, David Lynch, like I'm totally into that. Like David Lynch is probably hands down one of my favorite atmospheric directors who is number one at making you feel like super awkward on films. Also really good at like evoking emotions and stuff. So anyways, I jumped on it. It's all about this girl who is basically being experimentally tested slash like kept at the, like this like rural farm place and like tested on by like these doctors and like trying to do like psychological tests with her, like almost like trying to like repro like program her, like her mind. Um, anyways, super good, super good. It's one of these very um, cerebral mind bending type films where you're watching it and you're just like, what's even going on? But the imagery is so striking and the story itself kind of like warps you a bit everywhere. It's really uncomfortable and it's just very eerie. And I think it's a beautiful watch. So I highly suggest it. Ignore IMDb. I don't know why IMDb gave this film a three. And to me, that's like, whoa, la. yeah, I don't, I really don't know why it got that low because it's a really good film. Anyways, let me know what you guys think of that one. I definitely thought it was pretty, like, it was trippy. You, and like, the cool thing about it, you know, like when you watch something that's already like psychological and like messed up, you're like, what is her reality and what isn't? Yeah. And like, even like the violence in it, like there's not that much, but there is. And it's just weird, it's wild. And it, it's like raw, I don't know. I thought it was really good. Anyways, numero dos. So it is a Spanish film called Wekufe. So Wekufe, um, I saw a preview for it again, I think on Amazon Prime, I won't lie. Or maybe on Tubi, guys, I don't remember. Anyways, it's from 2016, this film. It won a bunch of awards, I think, at like a bunch of like horror festivals and stuff. Um, and it's a first person type shot film. Um, and that like right away, I haven't watched one of those in a while. And I was like, look, like ha Haunting, was it Haunting of LLC? I really enjoyed that film. I know a lot of people have covered it already, but just slipping it in there. I love that film. So I'm like, let me give another one of these like handheld things a shot. So this one really blew my mind because it's all about this legend of the Wakufe in like this part of Chile. Um, and it's kind of like talking about the incubus. Okay. If you guys, I make a mask called the incubus because I was like, this dude is terrifying. It's like the sleep paralysis demon. Right. But in Winkufe, it's more of a demon that steals children, girls, little girls, and brings them into the forest. And it's like this creepy little old man who's kind of like gnome like, and wears like this goofy hat and he ends up raping them or something. Anyways, I was intrigued right away. And it's so it's this girl and her boyfriend that are like, all right, like, let's travel there. We're doing like a first person thing. Uh, it's like a documentary for her school. And the humor between the two of them is really good in the sense that he's always wearing like he has like a cannibal holocaust shirt on at one point. You can tell he's really into horror too. And he's kind of along for the trip. But also like I want this footage because I can then twist it into a horror movie while she's using it as a documentary for like her journalism class, okay? So this movie had a really good way of just like pulling you in, I find. 
I'm always intrigued by legends and stuff. So you see like they get into the town, they start talking to people and like the majority of like the like the old folks are like, yeah, man, like this little dude exists in the forest and he's been teaching like little girls like all the time about, you know, stuff. Anyways, it's one of these things where it's like you have like the elders, you know, supporting it. And then you have like a bit below that generation who's like, do you know how much child abuse and like mess up stuff happens in this area, especially that specific area where you guys are going to be going as like their end point? which is like this weird place in the woods. And it's just like, whoa, as soon as you hear that, you're like, hey, wait a second. Is this really an urban legend? Or is this like, like they use the urban legend as like a massive cover up from like some crazy ass dude who just keeps taking kids and like, you know, culting them out in the woods or something. Like, so you, you can see where I was intrigued by this, right? So I'm kind of like, all right, you get into it. Finally, like they're going around like different towns. Like they keep getting closer and closer. There's this wicked part where they're at a market, like a marquetta, and I, like everything's going on outside and you just have these people in like poppy mache masks and they kind of like look at them weird and they're just like, oh, like what just happened? And they're like, no, like let's go interview them quick. Maybe they have like a say on this whole urban legend thing, right? And the girl goes up to them and they're still doing their little thing, dancing around her and they just kind of go, uh, uh, with like this weird sign on her forehead right there it's kind of messed up right it's like that moment kind of like in the texas chainsaw like in the original world it's like Matt, you've been marked right like uh. oh <sighs> anyways so just even those face those masks they're just so eerie these bubble heads bubbling around you know um anyways they finally get to this cabin and she's obviously tripping balls at this point like kind of like i don't know why i'm sick blah 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 wakes up you have her like in the woods in the middle of nowhere just standing there and her boyfriend's like what the hell are you doing and in my mind I'm like oh are they just doing this like this is gonna be like part of their like documentary kind of thing like as like a goofy stunt but no she's sleepwalking and going deeper and deeper into the woods so you're kind of like oh my god is this like the urban legend dude like luring her out is she possessed like what angle is this movie taking at this point right Anyways, she's like freaking out. She's like, I don't even want to be here anymore. I want to stop this. And he's all like, no, man, like I'm getting so much sick footage for like my horror movie I can make. Pardon me. Anyways, I was just like, okay, well, how is this going to end? The ending? You're just like, what? What? Yeah. I'm not going to spoil it for you all because I, I don't think that's fair. Anyways, it's definitely one of these movies where like you get to the end and there is some massive cult thing going on. And the imagery are just like, anyways, I think they did a wicked job. It is by no means as good as the film Wreck. I will always, hands down, I saw Wreck in theaters when it came out for the first time. And it was, it was at Fantasia Film Fest. And that was such a wild feeling to see that film for the first time with a crowd full of people that were just like, we were all on edge. It was so wild. But this is along that level. You know what I mean? Like, this is like getting there. I mean, maybe if I rewatched Wreck, I'd feel... No, that's a lie. It's a great film. Anyways, but it's on that kind of vibe, if you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I hope you guys have a wicked rest of your weekend. I know it's like a Monday, but some people are still off today. And you know what? Everybody says Monday sucks. They don't, because it's movie Monday. So enjoy the rest of it. And I wanted to let you guys know tomorrow I will be going live with Black Fawn Films and we're going to be talking about uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the new one and the old one. So that'll be cool. I'll be popping that link in my community post as soon as I get it. So you guys can definitely hop in and see what's up. Um, so that'll be awesome. Another thing is I really want to add a movie day a week, but a movie day where I can talk about movies that you guys have been what's that word? Suggesting to me. Yeah, you guys have been suggesting so many awesome films. I don't know if you guys know, I watch a lot of movies while I'm working and stuff. So I would really love to share that. Obviously share who you guys are and say, hey, thanks for the wicked find or like not so wicked. I'm kidding. I'm sure they're all epic. So if you guys want to slap some new names of movies into the comments, that would be epic because I would totally love to like 
love to cover some newer stuff that like you guys have seen and you guys think is amazing. Also, I'm going to be going through all my old comments because a lot of you have shouted it out like other ones I should watch. So don't think I'm going to forget about those. That's like I have a whole study up week going on. So thank you guys again. If you're not subscribed, get on that. And if you are, thank you guys. And uh, guys, I'm always at like a thousand subscribers. I don't know what I'm going to do for a thousand. Should probably have some kind of live party, right? Anyways, open to suggestions. <laughs> you guys have a wicked week and I will see you soon. Peace out. <laughs>